welcome to my channel. My name is Paige. If you've never seen my face before, then please consider subscribing before you leave. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. So today, we are going to be talking clothes. All clothes. And I don't mean a fashion haul, a lookbook, nothing like that. We're talking laundry, cleaning out closets, cleaning out drawers, just purging our clothing. It's no secret that I love clothes. I love clothes. I have a lot of clothes. I always had this rule that, Paige, you can't get any new clothes unless you make room and get rid of some of your existing clothes. I typically like to bring you guys along for that. I know a lot of you really enjoy seeing my clothing related videos, but a lot of you also want to get your hands on some of my stuff. <laughs> so if you are similar size to me, I will be listing this stuff on Poshmark. Speaking of Poshmark, I just want to say thank you once again for sponsoring today's video. I have had a Poshmark account for years. I actually sold some evening gowns and interview suits and stuff back in the day on my old account. But now in today's current store that I have on Poshmark, you can just find things that I would typically wear on a daily basis. A lot of items are practically brand new. Some I even have tags on them. Really the only reason that I get rid of stuff nowadays is because I have to make room for new things. So today we're going to fold some laundry, do some chit chatting here and there. I'm going to share some different things with you and I'm also going to share some items that I will be listing on my Poshmark. So make sure to check the link down below in the description box. I will have a link to my store. Also make sure to leave a comment. If you have a Poshmark store, leave the name of your store down below because I know a lot of people love shopping on Poshmark. So just leave that down there and I also love checking them out myself so I will definitely make sure to check out the comments below to see your store names. So today is one of two of one of my laundry days. I do laundry twice a week. It's kind of turned into something that is therapeutic in a sense. Laundry is definitely not one of my favorite chores to do but now I kind of look forward to it because I reward myself in the time that I'm folding the laundry or if I'll give myself a goal like okay we need to get this laundry folded and put away in this certain amount of time and then we can do this. When I set myself up for success like that a lot of times it really pushes me to make sure that I'm getting the stuff done and it's not taking me all day I'm not dragging around. Sometimes I do like to turn the TV on and watch something really short. I have learned that anything over like 30 minutes long is just too long and it makes me drag out the process so I typically like to pick like just little short shows on Netflix to watch that are like 20 ish minutes long and in that time I'm able to fold the laundry and put it away and I also was able to watch one of my favorite little sitcoms or something so I find that that really really works so if you're looking for something to help you get over that over that hump of folding the laundry then I would definitely try that if you hadn't already tried it. Another tip when it comes to folding and putting away laundry sometimes I'll sit down to fold it but I also notice that that is another excuse to sit for a long period of time. So a lot of times now I will just stand up and my favorite place to fold laundry is in our bedroom on the bed because it's just one big open space and it will also ensure me that I get this laundry put away before my husband gets home because um, we gotta sleep in the bed and we can't sleep if there's clothes on the bed. That's another tip that I like to implement because I found if you fold laundry in a place that you can just kinda like shut it out, shut it away, maybe you fold it in the laundry room on top of the washer and dryer, you can close that door and not look at it for a little bit. If you tend to pick a place like that, then I think you're more prone to leave it there longer and that is going to set you up for failure. I used to do that. I would fold it somewhere or I would just put it right back in the hamper and I would push that hamper like into our closet or something and then we would end up pulling clean laundry out of there to wear throughout the week and then my husband's like which one is clean <laughs> which one's dirty so that's just really annoying. I definitely don't put the clothes back in the hamper because like I said that's just a recipe for a disaster. So I stand here and I fold everything. I lay everything out. A lot of times I like to go ahead and make sure I get hangers as I'm folding stuff up so that if I need to hang anything up, I'll go ahead and do that. I didn't do that just now because I'm filming and I kind of got sidetracked. 
I will share with you some new things that I'm using in our clothes that I've been loving. Some things just have not changed. There's a few different products that I'm using since the last laundry routine that I did. In April of 2017, that was the last laundry routine I did. So I will show you just a few clips into that. I'm going to continue folding this laundry. Once I'm done with that, I will go show you some of those tips and we'll get into some of the items that I'll be listing on my Poshmark. over a year now I've been raving about the clean cult laundry detergent little pods I have been using these since April of last year I still still love them I like storing them in a little glass container up in my cabinet I do have a link down below for you to get a discount I've just I just really love these I think they do a wonderful job if I have just a regular size load I use one but if I have like a lot of nastiness and it's just sort of a bigger load then I'll use two of these if I have any like crazy stains or if I'm doing my sheets or like white towels pretty much anything white um, I like to use oxyclean now I will use it on colored stuff too but I predominantly use this to make sure that my whites stay white I don't really use bleach because if you use bleach a lot over time it ends up making your whites look yellowed and we don't want that so I like to use oxyclean this one also has the odor blasters in it so if you got some nasty sweaty stinky stuff this is good too um, but I just throw this into the bottom of my washer before I put my clothes in because I do have the HE washer without the little agitator in the middle and uh, this stuff does really, really good. Next up is fabric softener. This is something that kind of changes, but one thing remains the same. I love Snuggle. I've always loved Snuggle, and I think their stuff is really good, but not just really good, but it's super affordable. Uh, this one was new to me, so I tried it. I'm almost out of this one, and the reason that I gravitated towards this one was because it had the super fresh, it was the plus, so it has the softness of the snuggliness, and then it also has the odor eliminating technology. A lot of our clothes have that wonderful, stinking, sweaty smell. I like to make sure that I get rid of that. So this stuff smells really good. It's in the Spring Burst scent. Love it. I think it does a fantastic job. I think our clothes are soft and they also just have a nice, really good smell to them. Speaking of smell, for the longest time, I have boycotted this product, mainly because of the cost and I just didn't know if I could live up to the hype of it. Everybody just kept raving about the scent, how good it smelled, how they were never going to use anything else. And I was so just hooked on my Snuggle scent booster pods. I didn't want to leave those. I still have those and I'm going to use those because I need to use them up because I bought them. When my mama told me that she used them and loved them and when her clothes were washing, she could literally smell it throughout the house. And not only that, but when they were done, she said they just smelled so good and they still smell good. So I was like, okay, I'll go get the smallest container of it I can find at Walmart and I'll try it out. So I think they have three different scents. Um, this one's the Tropical Sunrise. They also had like the original and some kind of lavender scent. I feel like the reason I was so hesitant because the scent coming from the top of it wasn't incredibly strong, but you guys, it is so, it is so good. And I haven't, I don't use that much of it when I wash clothes. I put this in along with that OxyClean in the bottom before I put any clothes. It says to toss into the washer at the beginning of the wash. So I just go ahead and throw it in there before I put the clothes in. I can definitely vouch, I stuck some clothes to my husband's nose and he was like, mm -hmm. What is, what is different? I'm like, these, these are different. And I feel like the cost makes sense because I was using two products. When you add those up compared to the one to get the amount of like fresh scent that comes from this, I think it makes sense. So once I use up all of those snuggle things that I have, I'll probably just be using the Gain Fireworks. If you've been on the fence, try them out. Once my clothes are out of the washing machine and I put them into the dryer, I have been using these dryer balls. If you have been watching for a while, you know that I have never once used a dryer sheet on YouTube. 
ever and it's because I've just never used them I think they are a fire hazard um, I feel like they leave a crazy film inside your dryer and I don't know I'm just totally against them I have never seen the real use for them totally been anti dryer sheets the whole wool dryer ball thing really caught my attention and so I gave these a try these are just three of the wool dryer balls and just to give the clothes an extra scent boost because I think a lot of people use the dryer sheets just for the scent if we're being totally honest because they do smell really good I will pop on some Eden's Garden essential oil onto each of these and toss them in there. This definitely changes out. It just really depends on what I'm feeling, but I've been loving this Spring Garden Synergy Blend from Eden's Garden. I am an affiliate with them. Praise the Lord because I love Eden's Garden and have been using them for years. Years and years. So this one's just, I feel like this really complements the other scents that I'm using with my laundry detergent stuff. And I think that these do a really good job, especially for like bigger things, like a lot of towels, comforter sets, stuff like that. I feel like they really make sure to break everything up in the dryer to get everything evenly dry. And I don't know, I just really, really like these. And I think they do make a huge difference rather than just drying your clothes regularly without adding this in. Now that all of our laundry is washed and folded, I'm going to go put that away. And we're gonna jump into the stuff I'm listing on Poshmark. with our clothes where I'm just overwhelmed if you don't know I get overwhelmed kind of easy so the best way that I have found to deal with that overwhelming feeling is to minimize the amount of things that I have I am by no means a minimalist I am an aspiring minimalist I guess I just love stuff <laughs> I don't purposely just buy stuff to buy stuff I feel like over time I just have a really hard time of letting go of things wow I feel like I'm having a moment <laughs> so I have this big bag of clothes this is not just mine this is mine and my husband it's so heavy that the straps broke because there's that many clothes in there my shirt drawer in our dresser here is like overflowing I can no longer get anything in there, but that doesn't stop me from trying. And I honestly don't even think I wear a third of the shirts in there, but for some reason, every time I get in there to clean it out, I can validate something in my head to persuade me into keeping everything. But today, y'all, I have to be really brutally honest with myself and get rid of some stuff. I think a lot of times I hate to get rid of something it's because I've never worn it. But I'm still probably never going to wear it, so why keep holding it when I can just, just put it on Poshmark and it can go to a very loving home where somebody will actually wear it and use it and love it, whatever. So that is what, oh, that is my main priority today is my, my drawer, that one, one drawer. I mean, I'm going to try my best to clean as much out as I possibly can of everything, but that drawer is ridiculous, so that's our starting point today. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, but I kind of am because I really want to see a lot of empty space in that drawer. Not necessarily to feel it, but I feel like it would just make my head space a lot better. So I decided to just take it out of the dresser and bring it on over to the bed. <sighs> it's time to get serious. Oh gosh. Somebody will be very excited that I think I'm gonna get rid of this shirt. I've worn it one time. And I think maybe one time for a photo, but that was literally it. But I don't have any boobs. <laughs> I have some, but I don't have, I think, enough to fill this shirt out. And I've worn it with a bralette, but I just don't think I do it justice. So, yeah. Mm. I do really, 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 really love this shirt. And I always get compliments on that photo. But I don't wear it enough. I don't wear it enough. I really don't want to part with this shirt. 
but I don't think I've ever worn it. That's why I've held on to it for the longest time because I'm waiting for the perfect time to wear the shirt, but I love it and I've seen it everywhere and I wanted it so bad, but it's the Ruth Mary Sarah Esther Squad Gold shirt. I hate to get rid of it, but I feel like it was just not the fit that I wanted for this shirt. Everyone loves, loves, loves these really thin, simply like the Southern shirts and stuff. So I think I'm going to put both of these in my Poshmark closet. This one has an elephant and it's pink and gray. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh. And then this is like my newest one. <sighs> And this one has a cactus on the front and it says, life is tough, handle it with prayer. Uh, I really, really, really like that one. I feel like these are gonna sell like really quick though. They better, if they don't, I'm gonna take them back off, <laughs> back off the shop. <laughs> this People's Food shirt is pretty much a one of a kind. This one is not listed on my store. I personally made it for myself. I think I'm going to list this one. I have like probably 10 shirts that say People's Foolish at this point. And I think that this would be, I think somebody would really want this. Everybody loves it when I post pictures in it. It has the white People's Foolish font here in the top left boob area. Um, I do really, really, really love this tee. You guys have seen it on me a couple times, um, but I'm going to list this one. You will be the only person that has this tee with the white lettering. There's that. So this shirt, I totally forgot I even had, and I was about to fold it up and put it right back in that drawer, but I obviously forgot I had it, so I wasn't missing it, so I might as well get rid of it, but... I, I love the shape of this, even though it's like really a relaxed sort of fit, almost where it's like hanging off your shoulder, but it doesn't, I don't think it, I don't, I don't think it hangs off your shoulder, but um, it's just something really casual, but you can like tuck it into some high-waisted jeans, especially for fall. I'm almost talking myself into keeping this because I'm thinking how cute it would be with some little booties, <laughs> but it's super lightweight, so it's like a really good transition piece to go into fall. But I'm going to sell it. Uh, about half of my drawer here is empty. And I'm pretty happy about that. So hopefully y'all will hurry up and buy this stuff so I don't put it back in this drawer and keep it. <laughs> so over here I just put some of my designs. That'll just help me know that they're over here. So my People's Foolish, Hot Blessed Mess. Hustle Hard, Pray Harder, stuff like that is going to be over here. A lot of those are hung up in my closet in case you're wondering where the rest of them are. And then this right here is just some plain basic shirts um, with nothing on them. And then right here are some of my like just the other screen tees, just some random stuff that has some words on it. And then all of this over here is just plain. There's nothing on any of those. And I have a long sleeve and just some other short sleeves. And that's all that's in here. How happy are we? All this, all this empty room. Da 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 da. Okay, one down, 100 million to go. I decided to put one of my North Face jackets on my Poshmark and it's at a really, really, really incredible discount because I think I've worn this thing twice the whole time that I've had it. It has that sort of like fuzzy exterior, super comfy. It is a size medium. And it's in really, really, really good condition. So that is on my Poshmark right now. In case you're still feeling the summer vibes, here's a skirt that I can't wear. <laughs> I've never been able to wear it. Um, I just forgot to return it. It's an American Eagle skirt, denim skirt. It's not long enough for these hips. That's just it. It's just not long enough. It's a size 12, um, but I definitely don't think it's a 12. I feel like it fits more like a 10 and it's kind of short, but if you're into that, then here you go. It's great quality. You you guys know I love American Eagle. So there's that. I wish, wish so bad that I could fit in these Francesca 
leather leggings. They are a size large, but I would definitely say if you had hips like I do, I'd probably say this fit more like a medium. Uh, but they are just so good. They still have the tag on them. I just never returned them. A lot of times that's what happens, but these are really nice. The inside does not have that leather feel on the inside or that faux leather feel, so they're not going to stick to you. But these are really nice, and they almost have like stitching details as if they were more like a jean rather than a legging. I really like these because of the stitching detail on the knee there, but my big butt can't fit in these. But I know somebody on here you can fit and you want some. These are perfect for fall, y'all. You need those. Speaking of fall, we have these, some of my favorites. I hated to get rid of these, but I did. <laughs> um, these are just like the oversized, hanging off your shoulder kind of long sleeve tees. I have one in olive that has really nice stitching there in the front. And I also have one in that wine cranberry color. I've worn those maybe once or twice. They're in really, really good condition. And these are like perfect fall colors. They would look really cute with these leggings and some boots, just saying. So now I'm gonna to get to taking pictures of all of the things that I'm gonna be listing on my Poshmark. If you've seen something you like, don't hesitate to check it out. It might already be gone by the time that you actually get over there. But just take the time to look. I do have some other things that were previously listed before I listed all this other stuff. So if you're interested in anything, just make sure to head on over to that link in my description box and it will take you right over to my Poshmark store so i hope you guys enjoyed this and got some little tips and tricks today definitely hit up your dressers your drawers your closets everything just hit it all up and just purge it feels really good especially going into a new season we know that the trends are always changing so if you want to stay on trend you need to make room in your closet um, but if you don't want to stay on trends, you just want to get some new stuff or you just want to not feel so overwhelmed like I do, I would definitely recommend purging out your clothes. It's just sort of liberating just getting rid of stuff. I don't list everything on Poshmark. I do give away a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So things that I'm giving away I did not show. I do have a separate pile over here of things that I'm going to be giving away. I do think that's very important not to just sell things but also just give what you have to people that are in need. I think that's super important. So make sure that you're doing that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also if you haven't there is a little notification bell that you can click down below. It will notify you each and every time I upload a video or if I upload a post or some kind of poll that I want you guys to vote on and I want your input. If you are part of the notification squad already make sure to comment down below hashtag notification squad I would love to see which one of my subscribers are already part of the notification squad because y'all be on it as soon as I post a video y'all are right there and your girl really really appreciates them so I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day y'all bye